What did one snowflake say to the other? Let's fall on Atlanta and screw up the traffic. So you're thinking about moving to North Georgia. We had such a good response on the first 10 reasons about why not to move to North Georgia, I decided to do another list for you. Some people agreed with me. Some people looked at that original list as reasons why they would definitely not want to move to North Georgia. And others commented on that list and thought, hey, this is why I would want to move to North Georgia. Ultimately, of course, this is going to be completely personal and it's going to rely on you and what you're looking for and a place to live. I did get awesome feedback on the video, which I appreciate. And I also wanted to shout out Susie for the joke. She gave me the snowflake joke. She put it in the comments on that first video. So thank you, Susie. So I decided to go ahead and make another list of 10 more reasons why you would not want to move to North Georgia. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Gibson and I am a realtor in North Georgia. My channel is all about living in North Georgia. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the videos we put out on North Georgia. And of course, if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, please reach out. I'd be more than happy to help. My contact info is on the screen. Number one on my list of reasons why you would not want to move to North Georgia is terrible internet. I know I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos, but that really is an issue up here. There are pockets of town and little areas in North Georgia that do have good internet connections. If you're thinking about moving to North Georgia and you need a good internet connection for whatever reason, if you work from home, if you're a gamer, if you like to stream a lot of movies or whatever, make sure to check the internet connection first because you never know, you may end up buying a house and if you have no internet connection or if you've got like a dial-up connection at best, of course, that's just gonna be awful. I've had quite a few people that have reached out to me and want to buy a place in North Georgia and a lot of them have wanted a good internet connection or they need a good internet connection. So part of my job is to help my buyers learn about the areas that have good internet connections and find those great places for them. All that being said, there are some plans in the works to improve the internet infrastructure in North Georgia. Elon Musk has got his Starlink thing, which I have a few friends that use that and they've got some good reviews on it. But just keep in mind, the internet can be spotty in places, so make sure to do your research on the front end. This one is a little bit specific, but if you do not like University of Georgia football fans, then do not come to North Georgia. I say that kind of in joking. A lot of my friends are, of course, Georgia fans, but they just won their second national title as the college football champions. The national championship game was just a few days ago and they completely destroyed the TCU Horned Frogs in the national championship game. So if you're from another state in the South and you're a big college football fan, and if you don't wanna hear about University of Georgia, then maybe stay away from North Georgia. Number three, I'm gonna call this one zoning laws and I wanted to get, just give you an example of why I called this zoning laws. And there's actually a specific place I'm thinking of in Forsyth County. There's a house on the corner of an intersection and kind of like some back roads in Forsyth County. And and this place has got to be at least 10,000 square feet. It looks like a mansion out of a movie. It's huge. The landscaping is incredible. It's massive. Across the street is like a flea market. And right down the road from that is some double wides. So, you know, you may have some palatial estate on some property out in the country. And then right down the road, you may have some dilapidated houses. Although you don't see that everywhere and that's not the norm, just know it could be a possibility. I know some of you are going to love this one. There aren't a ton of HOAs. Homeowners associations in North Georgia. Now, some of you may be cheering. You may be thinking, yes, I hate HOAs. I cannot stand them. Some of you who are coming from a little bit bigger area, bigger town or whatever, you may think, oh gosh, if there's no HOAs, then we could have the problem like we saw in example number three, where you have a really nice house and then right next door, you got some dilapidated houses. HOAs, you either love them or hate them, bottom line. You love the idea of the structure and protecting your property values. And some of you may hate HOAs for those exact same reasons. You don't want to pay someone else to tell you what you can and can't do with your property. But just know there's not a ton of HOA neighborhoods in North Georgia. So if that's what you're looking for, you may need to go a little further south. All right, reason number five is that you may have to drive a longer distance to get to the hospital. And I'm contrasting North Georgia with Atlanta. And I'm doing this because Atlanta is the largest city in Georgia and North Georgia is so close. And Atlanta has a bunch of hospitals right there in the city. And if you live close by, you have your choice. So when you're looking for a home in North Georgia, make sure to find the regional hospital that fits your medical needs or find a place that you can get to relatively quickly so that of course you can have that medical care. Number six, and this is just a fact of North Georgia and Georgia in general. And we're gonna be talking about unpredictable weather. 
In the last few weeks or so, we saw some of the craziest weather that I've experienced while living in Georgia. I've been here for over 20 years. A few weeks ago, we had a cold snap and it got down to about four degrees where I live with a wind chill of like negative 10 or something like that. Our well froze over. We had no power for a little while. And then from there, we went to a monsoon season for a, it feels like a couple of weeks where it just rained constantly for days on end. Then it dried up and it got to really nice, like 60 something degrees and sunny for a couple days. And now today, Today we've got like tornado warnings and severe thunderstorms coming through. So if you can handle that, then you might want to consider North Georgia. But if you're like, whoa, this is way too much for me, then hey, maybe you want to look somewhere else. Of course, this is not the norm, but hey, it happens. All right, along the same lines as weather, we've got another one and a lot of people cannot stand this. And it really takes a lot of people off guard if they are not from the South. I'm talking about humidity. You might be thinking humidity, what's the big deal? Like can't be that bad, right? Yes, it can be that bad. When you're talking, you have a day in the high 80s or in the 90s in late July, early August, and you've got 80 to 90% humidity, all you have to do is walk out the door and you start sweating. So just be prepared for that. It can get swampy hot sometimes. Now up in the mountains, it's not quite as bad as it is in Atlanta and South Georgia, but humidity is a real thing. And when you're sitting there in the summertime, the humidity is really high. It can feel like you're just sitting in a steam room and you're just sweating to death. All right, number eight, house damage from trees. On the first video, this person actually came up with their own list of 10 reasons why not to move to North Georgia. And this was one of them. So I thought it was so good. I wanted to mention it in this video. Thunderstorms are relatively common in North Georgia and we do get high winds from time to time. Sometimes we'll even get remnants from hurricanes that go through the panhandle of Florida. So all of that can lead to high winds. And there are a lot of trees in North Georgia, a lot of hardwoods, some pine trees. And I actually live under a bunch of large trees and anytime we get a storm where the winds are super high or it's sustained winds I just am paranoid and I'm worried about trees falling on the house the likelihood of a tree falling on your house and causing major damage is probably pretty low I'm not quite sure exactly what that number would be but just know that could be a thing keep that in mind if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia I'm gonna call number nine land that's very general but part of the reason why I wanted to leave it general like that is because a lot of times when people are looking in North Georgia they want a lot of property and so Sometimes when people are thinking about rural property and they want some land, they might think pasture or wide open spaces or 10 acres of flat rolling land that's got just a little creek on it or whatever. But in reality, a lot of North Georgia, since it's in the Appalachian Mountains, is very steep. And I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos, but you could have a large piece of property and you may only be able to use two or three acres of something that's as big as 10 acres, specifically because you could have something that's off a cliff, you could have a bunch of trees, you could have all kinds of stuff there. So, you know, when you're looking for 10 acres of land or more or whatever, you just might not be able to find just a flat 10 acres or a flat large piece of property that's got no trees on it and it's all pasture. So keep that in mind too, when you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, and that may be a reason why you don't want to move up this way. Number 10, I'm going to tie it into real estate like I do at the end of most of my videos. There are only a few available homes for sale. I'll explain. Most of the counties in North Georgia are super small. The populations are 20,000, 30,000 people in an entire county. And naturally, there just are not a lot of homes for sale. There are not a lot of developments. There's not a lot of subdivisions. So if you're looking for something very specific in one of these towns and you're not willing to budge on maybe some of the criteria that you've set for the type of house that you want, just know that it may take a while. I want to give you a quick example to show you what I mean when I say there aren't a lot of homes for sale in some of these places. So I'm going to show you a chart right here pulled straight from my MLS. The top line here is Dawson County. Now Dawson County is just on the outskirts of the suburbs. It's the first county you get into when you're getting into the mountains on Georgia 400, which runs north from Atlanta into the mountains. Dawson County is a growing county. It's experiencing rapid growth, but it's still relatively small. And as you can see here, as of January 20. 23, there's only 107 homes for sale on the market in Dawson County. Now, by contrast, 
Forsyth County, which is the next county south of Dawson County, experienced a lot of that same type of explosive growth, but maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. And as you can see, a stark contrast on this chart, this bottom line shows homes for sale in Forsyth County. They have 509 homes for sale. And these two are relatively close to Atlanta and they're both on a major artery that leads down to Atlanta. So as you can see, once you branch out further into these more remote counties, those numbers are just gonna keep falling. So keep that in mind whenever you're looking for a home in North Georgia, especially if you have a very specific set of criteria for the house you wanna buy. So after all this, if you're still thinking you wanna to move to North Georgia, please give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help guide you through some of these issues. Tell me what you think. Did I leave anything off this list? Do you have anything you'd like to add? Please leave it in the comments. Please check out my other videos. I've got a lot of other videos on North Georgia. Have a great day and we will see you on the next video.